In the child care center, probably you have what age children wearing diapers? What age? And sometimes they get bigger, they learn to control better, they don't need the diaper. They can wear potty training But they're a little bit different. How are they different? Uh, the diaper is a uh, uh, And the baby doesn't put the diaper on herself or himself, right? Mm -hmm. But how about the potty training pants? Maybe they can learn to pull up their own rock down your own pants. So similar to pants, but still have diapers. So in between, when the child is not potty trained yet. So if the child is potty trained already, that means they don't need any diapers or potty training pants because they know when they can go to the bathroom. Okay? So potty training pants. The next one is diaper rash cream. Diaper rash cream. All right. First of all, we want to know cream. Cream is something you can put on the skin, right? Cream to make the skin feel better. But what is rash? What is a rash? rash. Little white red spots on the skin. So can you get a rash on your neck? Yeah. Can you get a rash on your arm? Yes. Okay. But a diaper rash is usually not here. Where is it? On your bottom. Because the baby's bottom is covered with a diaper. And sometimes the baby gets a rash there. So we call that a diaper rash. And if the baby has a diaper rash, you can put some special cream on the skin to soothe and make it not so painful, not so itchy. Or you can use the diaper rash cream before the baby gets. So the baby doesn't get a diaper rash. So let's say that phrase again, diaper rash cream. Diaper rash cream. Don't confuse this with toothpaste, okay? <laughs> All right, the next word we have is hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. So this comes in a bottle that you can squirt out, and it's used for, it's instead of washing. If you have water, and soap. You can turn on the water and you can use the soap. But some situations, we can't put our hands under the water, but we can use the hand sanitizer to take away the germs. About 99% of the bad germs. So it's a good thing to have to use when you are in a place where you get a lot of germs. And if you're changing diapers, you can get a lot of germs. Even if I'm typing on the keyboard, I can get a lot of germs, so I could use hand sanitizer. I don't know. Some classrooms have hand sanitizer, not this one, but the lab has it, I think. How about the next word? Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. When do you use wet wipes? When you change the diaper, you can use the wet wipes on the, the on the baby's bottom to remove everything that you to make it cleaner. And you can use wet wipes for a lot of things. For example, I don't have diapers, but I put wet wipes in my car because sometimes I have a snack and then I want to wipe my hands. Good idea. 
or I wipe my steering wheel because I don't like sticky, sticky stuff. So I wipe it off. Yeah. So sometimes my kids laugh at me. You have those diaper wipes. I said, no, not for diapers, just same wet wipes, <laughs> moist wipes. And then I say, here, you use one. You just have your chips. Here, wipe your hands off. Otherwise, you get everything on the seat of the car, and then we have to clean it later. So it's nice to carry them around for a lot of reasons. But in a child care center, you probably use it frequently when you change a baby's diaper. Okay, the next word is formula. Formula. Watch my lower lip and my upper teeth. Formula. It's like milk. It's like milk. Okay. So if the mommy, if the mother is not breastfeeding the baby, then the baby can get protein from another source and it would be like milk. So we call that formula. Can you give the formula from the can to the baby? No. No. What do you have to do? And and shake it, it, mix it up, and then you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my baby bottle. <laughs> the next word is a baby bottle. So a baby bottle is not a bottle of babies, but it's a bottle for babies to use. And babies drink something from it. What do they drink? Milk. Water. Water. Vodka. No. Water. Formula. Juice. From a baby. And when they get older, they can hold a sippy cup. A sippy cup. A sippy cup. Now, let me tell you about this word. The verb is to sip. If you sip something, you take a small amount of it. So, if I want to sip my water, I just do a little bit. So, to sip means to take a small amount. <coughs> and when a child is learning to use a cup, they don't want to pour the whole thing on their face or their body. So, that small bowl helps them just have a small amount. We call that a sippy cup. 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 So after they learn how to use a sippy cup, they don't need that anymore. They can use a regular cup. Now, the next word is baby food. Baby food. Baby food. Baby food. Some people make all of their own food at home. For example, I didn't buy baby food for my children because I use my own blender to make the food very small and feed it to the baby. But some people buy baby food that's already prepared. So you can buy it in very small bottles. Different kinds of food. Like what? What kind of food would you feed your baby? Like vegetables? Like vegetables? Meat? Squad? Meat? Apples? Don't get hungry. How about rice? <laughs> So the baby food that you find in the supermarket comes in a small jar and you can feed that to a youngster who doesn't have teeth, right? When you don't have teeth, you need this kind of food because it's very soft. The next picture is clothes. 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 Clothes, clothes. clothes can include dresses and we see a picture here of T-shirts, pants, socks, socks, and then a one-piece suit for the younger children, for the infants. And when you're at a child care center, 
Do you ask the parents to bring extra clothes? Yes. 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 You always need to have extra clothes in the cubby because maybe they'll get the clothes they're wearing dirty or maybe they'll get it wet and then they'll spoil it and you can change them into their other clothes. The next word is a teething ring. A teething ring. A teething ring. A teething ring. Now you know the word tooth. One tooth, many teeth. Many teeth. I have many teeth, but babies don't have teeth yet. When the tooth comes out of the gum, push, push, push out, we say the baby is teething. That means the tooth is coming out. And when the baby is teething, the gums hurt. So what do the babies do? <laughs> they cry and they feel painful. So you can give them a teething ring to chew on to help comfort them, to soothe them. And teething rings can be made of different things. Some of them you can put in the freezer and then it's very cold and the cold will help numb the gum so the pain is not so strong. Do you use a teething ring? <laughs> no, I no, I don't. I don't. But often infants use a teething ring. And there are all kinds of shapes and different colors, different sizes. You could have a whole shoebox of different kinds of teething rings. The next one is a pacifier. A pacifier. A pacifier. A pacifier. Babies and toddlers. Okay, what do they do with the pacifier? Suck. Suck. They suck. S U C K. Suck. They suck on the pacifier. What does this word mean? Well, do you know the word peaceful? Very peaceful. Very calm. Okay, so sometimes when the infant is very excited, you want to make them calm and relaxed and peaceful. This word peaceful is related to peace and also to the verb pacify. So to pacify means to make someone peaceful. So this object, this pacifier, this device helps make some babies peaceful. So that's why we call it a pacifier. A pacifier. A pacifier. A pacifier. You see it has a ring on it. If you have a pacifier, it's a good idea to tie a string on it. And then what? And then like pin it to the dress, to the clothes. Because otherwise when the baby Sucks and then it spits it out. Then it might fall on the floor and get dirty. But if you have a string or a ribbon and you put a pin here, then it just stays here. Put it back in. Yeah. Is that a good idea? Sorry. You don't have a classifier today? Next time. The next one a towel. A towel. A towel. A towel. A towel. So when do you use a towel? A towel. Uh, to wash your hair, to dry your hands, or after a bath, to wash, or to dry the body for shower, or bath, or wash your face, or your hands. To, to one reason is to scrub it, and another reason, if you're wet, to keep you dry, to dry you off. A towel. The next word is a sheet. A sheet. A sheet. A sheet. Please be careful when you say this word. Wash my mouth. Wash my lips. A sheet. A sheet. A sheet. A sheet. Please bring a sheet. Please bring a sheet for your child. Please bring a sheet for your child. To cover the mattress so when the baby sleeps, they have a sheet 
And if they get it wet or dirty, you can just wash the sheet. And please bring an extra sheet to keep in the cubby. So if this one gets dirty, we can change the sheet. The next word is a blanket. Blanket. Put your lips together for book. to keep them warm with a blanket, right? Blanket. Okay. Let's take a 10 minute break. Then after that, let's meet in the lab. E2401. Okay?